everybody, this is Paula with Pilates. Thanks for joining me again. I just wanted to review a couple of things that we're going to do with you today. Don't forget, imprint is your belly button pressed to your spine, your spine pressed to the mat. Don't forget your scoop is your head lifted, your chin over, um, hovering over your chest. And that's with your belly button pulled in as well. And we're also going to go through a series of exercises today. A little bit more quickly than we've been doing it over the past couple of weeks I'm going to ask you to do your very best and don't forget to breathe so let's start with cat place your hands underneath your shoulders your knees underneath your hips make sure your knees are in line with your ankle remember alignment is all about being in line okay and so for this remember the flat back pull your belly button in lengthen your spine round your shoulders press your palms into the mat make sure there's some space between your fingers as you press into the mat rounding your back and then come back to flat back exhale pull your belly button in round your back tuck your chin good inhale and come to flat back and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale one more exhale and inhale all right our prone scoop this is where we breathe into the belly for five four three two one make it large and round and pull your belly button in for five, four, three, two, one. And then hold this position for five, four, three, two, one. You should feel some tension here in your lower abs. Let's do it again. Make your belly round for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Take all the air out. Pull your belly button tight for five. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here and just breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that again. And here, watch my belly get big, okay? So breathe into the belly for five, four, three, two, one. Take the air out for five, four, three, two, one, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, hold, five, four, three, two, one, last one, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Come on down to your back. Now we're going to do the imprint release. Knees are over your hips and your ankles are in line with your knees. Arms at your side, shoulders away from your ears. With your belly button, I want you to Aim the belly button at the ceiling and allow your hips to turn over, lowering your heels to the mat, keeping your legs in a 90 degree angle, hip width apart, okay? Then pull it back in, belly button to the spine, spine to the mat for the imprint. And turn your hips over for the release, lowering your heels to the mat as low as you feel comfortable. And bring the knees back over the hips, okay? And release, 
lowering the heels to the mat, and imprint, bringing the belly button back to the spine, spine to the mat. Now, let's breathe into it. So, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, pull your belly button to the spine, spine to the mat, exhale, release, inhale, imprint, one more time, exhale, release, inhale, imprint, good, now lower your legs down to the mat, Feet planted on the mat, weight distributed between your big, big toe, pinky toe, and heel. And we're going to do the supine hip rotation, okay? So, that's with your knee dropping off to the side, keeping this other knee pointed straight up at the ceiling. Slide the pinky toe along the mat. Rotate so the big toe attacks the mat. And return, bringing the ankle back underneath the knee. Let's do that again. Shoulders away from your ears. Still keep your imprint. Belly button, spine, spine to mat. Drop the knee off to the side. Feel the stretch on the inside of the thigh. Slide your pinky toe along the mat. Rotating the ankle and the leg so the big toe taps the knee. Using the hip flexors, which is how you rotate. Then drag your leg back to the restart position. Again, inhale here. Drop your knee off to the side. Exhale, push your leg away, extending it. Rotate as your big toe taps the mat on an inhale. And then exhale as you bring your ankle back underneath the knee. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's switch sides, same thing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Knee off to the side. Exhale. Extend the leg. Inhale, rotate, and exhale, return. Last time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now for alternating leg raises. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lower. Knee over the hip, knee over the hip, lower and lower, back still pressed into the mat. Inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lower, and lift, lift, lower, lower. Just breathing. Two more sets, lift, lift, lower, and lower. Last one, lift, and lift, and lower, and lower. Good, now 
turn over into your side. Let's do our spinal rotation. Remember, my back is going to face you so you can confirm your alignment with mine, all right? Bottom shoulder, push all the way back to the edge of the mat. Head is down on the medial, medius part of the shoulder. Nice and relaxed is my neck. My legs are going to come up to a bent knee position, 90 degrees. And my hands are going to be stacked. And for extra, I'm going to lift my side off of the mat. So I'm going to inhale. Now I'm going to exhale, take this top hand away. Rotate. Follow the rotation. Allow my arm to hover over the mat. Feel a nice twist of my lower back. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale and bring both hands back together. Again, inhale, exhale, rotate, follow the rotation, turning my head, allowing my arm to come a little bit above my head and to hover over the floor. Inhale, exhale while my chest is open. Inhale and then exhale as I bring the palms to a close. Just breathing. Good. Let's turn over to the other side. Okay, so my back, right to the back edge of the mat, knees up at a 90 degree angle, hands are stacked, head is down, doing the same thing we just did on the opposite side, lifting my side off the mat. Okay, you don't have to, but you can. Inhale, exhale as we rotate. Feel that twist from the mid part of your back down to the lower part of your back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, bringing the palms back together. Just breathing. Very nice. Go ahead and lift your head up, turn over to your back. Alright, arms at your side, shoulders away from your ears, ankle underneath your knees for hip rolls. So you're going to take your hips and you're going to drive them up towards the ceiling, okay? Try to look as flat as possible on the top half of your body, squeezing your glutes underneath, feet are planted, arms down at your side, and lower down, okay? Let's do that again. So you're going to drive your hips up. Looking as flat as possible, let your belly button pulled in, glutes are squeezed, heels, feet are down, equal distribution of weight, big toe, pinky toe, and heel, chin hovering over the chest, and then lower down one vertebrae at a time. Now let's add the breathing to it. So inhale, exhale, drive the hips up. Good. Inhale and lower down. Again, exhale, drive the hips up, inhale, and lower down. Now I'm just going to breathe for you. So what you're going to do is with everything remaining in the same, is as position-wise, arms are going to come down by your sides. You're going to take your chin 
and you're just going to try to get it to touch your chin, your chest, excuse me, and look over your chest to see your belly button, okay? You'll feel your shoulders come down, and you'll feel all the muscles in the back of your neck relax, and then you relax, okay? Now, when we do the exercise again, remember, you are tucking your chin, trying to get it to your chest. Head stays down, arms stay by your side. You're looking over your chest to see your belly button with your eyes. You're allowing all the muscles in the back of your neck to relax, or to release and relax, okay? And then you're going to relax and reset yourself to your starting position. Now, let me talk about the breathing as I do it. So, as you prepare, that means think about what you're going to do. You're going to inhale. As you do the exercise, you're going to exhale. So, dropping your chin, looking over your chest, you exhale a little bit at a time as if you were slowly getting tired. Okay? And then inhale and relax. And prepare again. And then exhale and tuck your chin, remembering the cues. Still keeping your imprint, belly button to spine, spine to mat. Inhale and relax and prepare. And now you're just going to hear me breathe. Exhale. Inhale, relax, prepare. Exhale. Inhale, relax, prepare, exhale. Last time, inhale, and tuck your chin. And relax. Now for our scapular exercises. We're going to do something called progression and regression, which we've done before, and go back to protraction and retraction, okay? So progression and regression, think of it as another term for shoulder shrugs, okay? So you're going to elevate your hands, and you're going to shrug your shoulders up, creating tension, getting really tense, and then you're going to relax, pulling your shoulders all the way down and allowing your fingertips to aim for your heels. And then you're going to shrug up. And then you're going to release the shrug. Remember, belly button is still pressed to the spine. Spine is still pressed to the mat. Okay? Keep that. Keep that here. And shrug. Creating the tension on an inhale. Excuse me, on an exhale. And then you're going to release the tension on an inhale. Okay? So here your shoulders are down. You're inhaling. You're preparing. Now exhale and create that tension. And remember to exhale a little bit like a slow leaking tire with this one too. And then inhale. And you're just going to hear me breathe. Exhale, shrug. Inhale, lower the shoulders. Exhale, shrug. Inhale, lower. One more. Exhale, shrug. Inhale and lower. Now I'm going to swing my arms up and so are you. And you're going to make sure that your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder are all in alignment. And your fingertips are nice and long, or your fingers are nice and long, okay? So no curling of the fingers. You're then going to keep your head on the mat, your spine on the mat. And everything, again, is going to remain the same here. The only thing that you're moving are your arms. You're going to lift your shoulders off the mat, not moving your head. Reach through your fingertips as if you're trying to grab something above you. And then you're going to lower down. So this is that scapular protraction and retraction, okay? So just think of it as just a reach. So you're going to reach up, grab something imaginary over you. And then pull it down without bending your fingers. And reach up through the fingertips. Keep your head on the mat. Keep your feet pressed into the mat. You still have your scoop, okay? That's your lower abdomen pulled in because your belly button is pulled in. And then 
you're going to lower your shoulders back down. Now for the breathing. We're inhaling and preparing. We're exhaling and extending or reaching. Okay? Good. Now we're going to pull our shoulders back down to prepare again on an inhale. And now we're going to exhale. Just listen for the breathing. You breathe too. Inhale and lower. And exhale and reach. Inhale and lower. And exhale and reach. Inhale and lower. We're never putting a bend in our elbows to reach up or to extend. We're simply keeping our arms up and already extended and reaching through the shoulders. Exhale. And inhale, lower down. One more. Exhale and reach up. And inhale, lower down. Good. Now reach above your head with your thumb down and your pinky finger up. Turn your palms out and circle for arm circles. Reach above your head. Again, turn your palms out and circle for arm circles. Now let's breathe with it. We're going to inhale when we reach above our head, streamlining our physique, turning our palms out, and now we're going to exhale and round the shoulders, okay? Inhale, reach above, exhale, circle. Still keeping the imprint, belly button, spine, spine to mat, inhale. You'll feel your rib cage knit together a little bit more. Turn the palms out. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now go ahead and keep your arms here. Palms hovering over the mat. And let's do abdominal curls. So this is that exercise where we lifted our head, lifted our shoulders off the mat, we allowed our fingertips to reach for our heels, and then we lower down. Let's do that again. So lift your head, lift your shoulders, change your gaze from your ceiling to your wall, to the floor or mat, then to your belly button, and then lower down. Now let's breathe through it. So inhale, still imprinting. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, scooping with your lower abdomen, pulling it in. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you lower down. Okay, let's do that one more time. With me talking and walking you through it. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Good. Inhale and lower down. Good. One more time. Breathing only. You're just going to hear me breathe. Good. Lower your arms down at your side. Okay, now we're going to prepare for 100. So remember that's the exercise where we bring our legs to a tabletop position. Our arms are extended by our sides, and they bounce up and down for a five-count inhale, five-count exhale. You can keep your head here down on the mat, but you also have the option to lift your head up into a C curl, okay? So this is a C curl. Chin hovering over the chest, and you're going to hold the C curl. You're going to hold the legs. The only thing that's going to bounce are your hands, okay? Feel free to simply stay here with your head down on the mat, okay? I'm going to lift my head up and do the C curl with those who want to do the C curl. Remember to inhale for five. So it's a, and it's a, you won't necessarily hear me breathe that way because of the counting I'll be doing, but feel free to breathe staccatically just like that. So remember it is short breaths and your exhale okay all right here we go get into position and 
Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Pull your arms. Bring up your curl a little bit higher if you're in a C curl. And then lower your hands, lower your feet, and lower your head down. That was excellent. Especially if you did your staccato breathing. Remember, inhaling is. Think of it knitting or stitching your ribs together every time you inhale. And then exhale. I'm doing the stitches a little bit as you exhale, okay? All right, let's move on to half roll back. So I want you to grab behind your bent knees. Come to a seated position. Knees are going to remain bent, okay? Arms are going to be extended out in front of you. One elbow over each knee, okay? You're also going to make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall, facing the wall in front of you or whatever you're facing in front of you, okay? For this exercise, you're going to pull your belly button in and you're almost going to make an attempt to walk your spinal cord down into the mat, but you're not going to lower all the way. You're just going to pull your belly button in as if that's what you were going to do. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use your hips to do what we call turn over. Okay, so as we said before, we use our hips to lower our legs for the infant release and turn over our hips. Well, we're going to use those hips, okay, to hinge over our knees without moving our knees. So you're going to hinge. Notice my arms came down on their own. I did not lower my arms, but the hinging motion caused my chest to lower towards my thighs. Therefore, my arms also fell. And then we're going to come back up to our starting position. So let's try that. Knees are hip distance apart. Elbows over the knee. Sitting up nice and tall, looking forward. Chin is over the mat. Pulling our belly button in and attempting, without lowering, is that to get our spine or cord to the mat. We're now going to turn our hips over and hinge. Okay? as if we're looking for our belly button. And then we're going to inhale and come back up to a seated. Okay? So for the breathing, we're going to inhale to start. Okay, inhaling. Now we're going to exhale, pull our belly button in. Good. Now we're going to inhale and hinge. And exhale. Back to start. Okay, let's try that again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to sit back. Inhale here as we hold this position. Exhale to turn over. And let's inhale and come back up to a seated position. Elbows over the knees. One more time. Inhale. Now exhale. Inhale. And exhale, hinge. Inhale, and come up to seated. Good. Lower your arms down and extend your legs out in front of you. Lay all the way back because now we're going to do a full roll up. Okay, so with this full roll up, you have an option. You can keep your legs extended with your toes pointed to start. Or, I'm going to show you a second option, okay? So the first option is, your arms are extended over your head. Thumb down, pinky finger up. 
Arms are always hovering over the mat because when they hover over the mat, you know that your belly button is pushed to your spine and your spine is imprinting on your mat. You're gonna bring your arms up to the outside of your chest. Toes are still pointed. And then you're going to take a big breath out, a big exhale. And come up to seated. Now, if you notice, as I came up to seated, my toes pointed up to the ceiling. My head pointed up to the ceiling. My arms are stretched in front of me in line with my shoulders. Okay? And then as I lower back down, pulling my belly button in, rounding my back as I did in my half roll back, kind of tracing my spine along the mat. Well, in this one, we're actually going to lower all the way down, bringing our arms back above our head. Now, if you find that when you do this exercise that you need just a little assistance, then you can bring your legs to a bent knee position. You're still going to bring your arms to the outside of your chest to start. And then when you get ready to exhale, you're going to reach forward behind, grab behind your knees, and you're going to grab behind your knees and sit up. Okay? Try to keep your feet on the mat. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to show you the bent knee position, and I'm also going to show you the full leg extended position. So arms above your head, bent knee position, thumb down, pinky finger up, breathing, inhale, bringing your arms to the outside of your chest. Okay? Then you're going to exhale, big breath, the biggest breath you can think of, okay? Come to a seated position. The more you exhale, is the easier it is, okay? I promise you. If you try to give yourself a little bit of breath and try to come up, it won't work. But if you do a big exhale, biggest exhale you can think of, it will definitely work. Now again, for my leg extended option, lay all the way back. My toes are pointed away. Arms above my head, thumb down, pinky finger up. And I'm going to inhale, lift my arms on the outside of the chest. And then I'm going to exhale. Toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Arms in line with my shoulders. And then I'm going to inhale, pull back, point my toes away, and lower down. That's good. So that's a full roll up. Good. Now I want you to bring your knees, come up to a seated position, because we're going to do rolling like a ball. Ever wanted to pretend to be a basketball? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> All right, so grab behind your knees, tuck your head, and get as tight as you possibly can, as small as you possibly can, and I want you to allow yourself to roll back, and then allow yourself to roll up. Now notice that I didn't do this, to come back up, but I simply grab behind my knees and I exhaled as I came up. So watch one more time. I lowered myself down and then I rolled myself up, okay? The way that works is breathing, okay? So you have to inhale as you lower back, exhale as you roll up, okay? Remember, you bringing your hands behind your knees is for your support. So again, tuck your head, try not to get your head to touch the mat, that's your challenge, inhale, roll back, and roll up. And if you did what I just did, which you didn't roll all the way up the first time, that's okay, okay? That means that I didn't breathe out enough, and that is an indication to you too that you didn't breathe out enough. So let's try that one more time, okay? Tuck your head. And you can lift your feet up for an additional challenge. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. See how I really exhaled that time and I came all the way up? Let's try it together one more time. Ready? Here we go. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. Good job. All right, let's do our spine twist. So with our spine twist today, I want us to do it in a crisscross applesauce motion, okay? And I'm also going to face you. So, sitting up nice and tall. 
I am also going to bend my arms at the elbows and have my arms in front of me as if I'm a genie, okay? So think of this as a genie position. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep our chin level with our chest, excuse me, level with the mat. And as we twist, remember with this one, you want to change your focal or your vi visual position, all right? So every time you twist, you should be looking at something different. We're going to do it three times to the right, come back to center, then do it three times to the left. Your abs are going to be like that wet washcloth, and you're going to wring it out a little bit each time. Not crank, but wring it out. So let's, let me walk you through it. Facing forward, you're going to lower your shoulders down, so don't hunch. You're going to inhale. And now you're going to exhale, exhale again, exhale again. Notice, not only did my vision change, my where, where I'm looking change, but I also had a twist with each change. Now I'm going to have one inhale, big inhale, back to the center, okay? My focal point changes every time. Inhale. Now exhale. Inhale back to center. Okay? Let's do that one more time. Okay? So inhale, sit up nice and tall. Make sure that you don't hunch when you do this. So stay nice and relaxed. And also make sure your knees don't come up when you do this in this position. And here we go. Exhale. Inhale, back to the center. Now let's go the other direction. Inhale, now exhale. Exhale again. Exhale again. Inhale, back to center. Very nice job. All right, let's do some single leg circles. These are going to be fun. So I want you to lay all the way down on your mat and on your back. You are going to have your arms at your side, shoulders away from your ears, still keeping your imprint, remembering that is right. Belly button to your spine, spine to your mat. One leg is going to remain in the bent knee position at all times. The other leg is going to be extended into the air, toes pointed. See, my toes are pointed. Toes pointed, okay? This leg over here, this bent leg, does not wobble backward and forward, or side to side, excuse me. It remains here on the mat, foot planted. All right? With this leg extending into the air, you also have the option to put a little bend in that knee. Okay? And that is okay. You're going to imagine that there is a clock on your ceiling, and your leg, using the rotation starting from the hip, is going to trace that clock on the ceiling, both in the clockwise motion for a number of circles, and then in a counterclockwise motion for a number of, number of circles, okay? So, let's do it together. Let's imagine our clock. Our leg is extended into the air with a little bend or fully extended, your, our, your choice. And let's start at the number 12 on our imaginary clock, and let's circle to one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, back to twelve. That's your circle. Okay? Now let's do it again. A little bit faster without me saying the numbers. Good. That is what that full exercise is going to be. That's what a leg circle is. Now let's talk about the breathing. With the breathing, every time my knees, these two knees, are apart from each other, I'm going to exhale, okay? When they get closer together, I'm going to inhale, and that doesn't matter in, what, in whatever direction you're moving your leg in, okay? So, my legs are moving away from each other, my knees are, I'm exhaling, closer together, inhaling. So, think of it, you're exhaling for six, you're inhaling for six, okay? 
exhaling for a six count, inhaling for a six count, okay? All right, now let's try to put it all together, okay? So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time, exhale, inhale. Good, now we've done the clockwise motion. Now we have to do the counterclockwise motion on the same leg, okay? So, if our knees are getting closer together, what are we gonna do? Inhale, that's right. So we're gonna inhale, because my knees are getting closer together, and then I'm going to exhale. Now mind you, you may have to exhale, because you may not be laying in the same position as I am, but just remember that knees closer together, okay? Inhale, knees farther apart, exhale, okay? Now let's continue our series on this leg, okay, with our single leg rotations. So, circle. Moving throughout the hip. Not through the knee, not like this. Two more, and one more. Keep your tailbone down on the mat too. Good. You know you're doing it just right because you're gonna feel a mild discomfort right here, okay, in this muscle, in this inner hip muscle, inner pelvis muscle, excuse me, and you'll know that you've done that exercise just right, okay? Now go ahead and bring that knee in, that leg in, at the bent knee position and lower the foot down. And let's switch the legs to the opposite leg, okay? All right, you're doing great. So extend that leg. My toes are pointed. So remember, this is a full leg extension option. I'm going to start with this option on this leg because I started with a bending option on this leg. You don't have to do it the same way. I just want to show you your options, all right? So here we go. So take that toe that's pointed. Trace those numbers on our imaginary clock. Circle, inhale, my knees are closer together. Exhale, my legs are farther apart. Inhale, my knees are closer together. Exhale, my knees are farther apart. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Good, now we gotta go in a counterclockwise motion, okay? Counterclockwise motion. So here we go. Now I'm gonna exhale first, then I'm gonna inhale. My bent knee is not moving. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. We're gonna do a few more, but let me say something. If you find that this knee is getting oh so wobbly, press your foot a little bit more into your mat. Big toe, pinky toe in here, really push them into the mat, and then try it again. Circle. Two more. One more. Good job. That went a little bit faster because you already knew what you were doing. Good job. All right, to finish out for today, we're going to do our single leg stretch. It's a great way to end this workout. For a single leg stretch, your legs are gonna come up to a tabletop position. Your head can remain down on the mat, or you can scoop and come up to a C curl. Hands come to the outside of your legs, outside of your calves. And what you're gonna do is, you're going to pull one knee in at a time. When I get ready to pull my knee in, both hands are gonna support the leg that is coming into my chest. So it looks just like this. My one hand is on top of my knee. My outside arm is always grabbing the bottom of my foot. Okay, this is in my C curl position. This would be with my head down position, okay? And then what I would do with my other legs is simply extend it with my toes pointed. I don't let it fall to the floor, but if that assistance is needed, go ahead and take it. That's okay. Otherwise, start to grow and start lifting your leg up 
and allow it to hover as you pull this knee into the chest. Now we're going to switch. Okay, knees come back to the starting position. And now both hands are going to support the other leg that comes into the chest. Remember, outside arm always supports the bottom of the foot. Inside arm supports the top of the knee. This is me in my head down position. This is what be me in my C curl position, okay? Do not do both. Just pick one. Pick one you like. And then my knees come back to the start position. Now let's talk about the breathing. We inhale when our knees are together. We exhale when our legs are apart, whether our heel is down or our leg is elevated. Inhale. Exhale. Should feel really good given the single leg circles that we did. Nice little stretch on the inner thigh muscles. Inhale again. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now I'm going to do one set with my head down and my leg touching. Inhale. Exhale. Pull it as much to the chest as possible. Inhale. Hip width apart with the knees. Exhale. Good. Knees back to start position. Inhale. And then lower both feet down to the mat. Good job. You've done a wonderful job today. We went through a series of exercises. We reviewed scoop, pulling our belly button in, curling up from our lower abs. While we imprint, excuse me, while we imprinted, that's belly button pulled into the spine, spine pressed into the mat, trying to make a carbon copy of our spine on the mat. We talked about our legs being tabletop. As if you have your legs propped up on a coffee table, okay? We talked about our arms being extended. We also talked about alignment, everything being in line. I want to congratulate you for completing another workout. You did a fantastic job. I look forward to seeing you next week and continue to be a better you. See ya.